standing in front of the National Shrine to Elizabeth and Seton. And we just spent a few um, hours here going to Mass at the Basilica and um, taking a tour uh, around the area and learning more about her life as um, a sister and as a teacher. So I hope you enjoy the video. Please come on back. You're going to see a, a couple shots of uh, the kids and um, some videos of our camping group. We went camping this weekend and this is, uh, we had 20 kids <laughs> and uh, four couples. So this was a wonderful camping adventure and we ended it with this pilgrimage to the Basilica. Uh, take care. God bless. This is a statue of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. She was a Catholic convert and the first American saint. She was married for 10 years. Um, her husband passed away and they had five children together. I highly recommend um, people coming to this shrine and the grotto in Emmitsburg, Maryland. Um, this is fantastic for homeschool families or even if you want to take a pilgrimage vacation. Now it's going to feel for weird the first time. So you may not make contact, then you'll know the second time. So yank it against the side. Hard, hard. Pull back real hard. There you go. Great. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's beautiful. Okay. Now, you can ring this one. Oh, you started the bell? It's contagious. <laughs> okay, use your hand and hit it against the side. Yes, you can. Christmas and Happy New Year. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, cool story about this. I took that video in June hoping to publish it and uh, just time got away from me and uh, I took a little bit of a break of writing for a little while um, and then I told Philip at Missio Day that I was ready to do Gospel Reflections again on Wednesday and the very first one that I was scheduled to do is Elizabeth Ann Seton. <laughs> So God is amazing and works in not so mysterious ways if you know the Lord. <laughs> so um, Elizabeth Ann Seton holds a special place in my heart, uh, especially because when I went through Curcio, I sat at the table of Elizabeth Ann Seton. She has five kids. I have five kids. Her husband died. I am mine is still alive. So let's keep it that way. Um, she is an amazing person, and just like we read in the gospel today, um, the disciples were following John, and when they saw Jesus, they couldn't help but turn and follow him. And in the same way, that's what happened with Elizabeth Ann Seton. She had her vocation. She had her mission to her family. And then all of a sudden, her husband died, and it was, well, what do I do? So she turned to Christ and she followed him and she followed him all the way to starting a school for girls and her daughters followed her and she ended up outliving three of them. Um, so she, she dealt with sorrow. She dealt with, with heartache and um, like my priest said last week, no pain, no gain. And she went through that and still suffered for Christ and did what he called her to do, just like so many of the saints that we celebrate throughout the calendar year. So 
Um, I hope that this inspired you and that this was a good little gospel reflection to start your day and to just know that God loves you and just the story of filming this a while ago and having it be especially for today, um, especially during the Christmas season when we get to celebrate the birth of God and we get to spend our lives worshiping him and what greater, what greater opportunity than that. Um, please pray for me. I will pray for you and have a blessed epiphany.